let's look at using Searchbox Builder for the new EBSCO Discovery service. You can access EBSCO Searchbox Builder through EBSCO Experience Manager. Access to the Searchbox Builder is connected to EBSCO Configuration Access. Once access to EBSCO Configuration is completed, then Searchbox Builder will also be available. So I am in the EBSCO Experience Manager environment. Let's scroll down to the Searchbox Builder option. Let's click Launch App. You'll be presented with the options to select between EBSCO Host, Explorer and EBSCO Discovery Service. Note that there is a separate builder for Locate and Publication Finder, which you can access by clicking the relevant link from the landing page. Let's now look at the EBSCO Discovery Service search box builder within EBSCO Experience Manager. I want to point out that the search boxes that you generate here are using your configured preferred authentication and that information is in your EBSCO admin account. Once you're in EBSCO admin, go across to the authentication module. From here, select the preferred authentication sub tab. We recommend that you check and update your preferred authentication settings to ensure that your users are prompted with the correct authentication method, such as single sign-on, a proxy tool, or another method. Returning to the search box builder, under profile dropdown, ensure you have selected the correct EBSCO Discovery Service profile. As we scroll through the options, you can enable guest access instead of preferred authentication. This means that anyone will be able to search your EBSCO Discovery Service profile, not just authenticated users. Access to full text, however, would still be restricted to your authenticated users. The next option down allows you to display limiters in your search box. You can skip this section if you don't want any dis limiters to be displayed. Otherwise, you can click the edit action beside the limiter you want to display. As an example, I'm going to edit the limiter for available in library collection. Within the edit action, I can select the option to include this limiter. I can then change the limiter label. I will use the wording available in print and online. I can click the option to default as selected. Doing so will allow me to decide whether to then hide the limiter on the search box. After I have made my selections, I can click save. In the preview, you can see the changes take effect. If I change my mind, I can go back to the edit option and unselect that limiter and click save. The next option down is to limit your search box to specific resource types. After clicking the checkbox, choose at least one source type to be selected. As an example, I will select academic journals and eBooks. Now, by default, the Use Autocorrect option is turned on, but you can turn this off if you wish. You can then decide if you want to show at the Advanced Search link. If you choose to turn this on, you have the option to change the link label. For example, I might change this to Precision Search. The option below this is to decide if I want to change the placeholder text, which shows within the search box. Then I have the option to add a heading or title to my search box. For example, I'm going to add the heading search academic journals and ebooks. By default, the results of the search box will open in a new tab or window. However, I can deselect the option if I wish. Lastly, I can choose whether or not to include the EBSCO Discovery Service logo. If we scroll back up to the top, on the right hand side, we can use the preview to test the search box. In the preview, you can see the guest access banner at the top. You can see that it's carried across my search terms. Under my filters, you can also see that it has honored the resource types that I've selected by default. Returning once more to our search box builder, we can scroll down and click the create search box when we're ready. This will generate the HTML code, which you can either copy 
or download. That takes us to the end of this demonstration of the EBSCO Discovery Service Search Box Builder. If you have any questions, drop the Oceania Training Team an email at oceaniatraining at ebsco.com.